Okay, so I need to explain a little bit background of the Rabbit. So Rabbit is a little different from geometry modeling. It's information modeling, meaning that it actually uh, store, it represents geometry based on the information. So information, it's a data. So it understands actually, it is actually based on object-oriented programming. So what you need to understand is, uh, if you see the, the two-page um, uh, printed material, so you need to understand a couple of keywords. So project, so you probably realize the project, basically it's, uh, it is actually the basic file that you're working on. And you probably see the levels in Rabbit architecture. So Rabbit assumes that everything is based on level. level. Level is basically the floor of each inner building. So first floor, ground floor. The assumption actually comes from this idea. So for any construction, imagine that anyone, did you see any construction site? How they build multiple floors, floor by floor. So without, first, without any first floor, there will be no second floor. And without foundation, there will be no first floor. So this software actually based, this software mainly for construction. So actually many things are actually based on construction concepts. So level is actually really one of the basic grid of this system. It's kind of same thing with XY plane or YZ plane in Autodesk uh, Fusion or any mechanical software. So uh, any mechanical software did you work on some? Any Tatia or, you know? So actually, so every software has a kind of base plane that a user can work on. So in this case, level is really the basic plane. So that's, so whenever you start to work, you need to actually make levels first. So for example, that we are going to build a, a POSCO, overall POSCO, post-tech buildings. So we need to build levels first. So if you see the left side, the default has level one and level two and site, meaning that there's a site level. And level one, probably a little bit higher than that. And level two is higher than that. To add any level, you need to go to elevations. Elevation is actually frontal view of a building. So where you can see different floors as you see on other building. So you can actually go to east or north, any view of these four sides view. You probably see level kind of levels here. And I think the site level is identical to level one. Just I just assume that. Okay, so here you need to add level one, level two. So many cases, Rabbit is simply making models after architects finish their design. So this is one is assume that you have some design that you're going to make a model out of it. So two, so basically this one has two levels. If you want to change levels, just simply you can select it and then you can actually drag, you just click this circle here. Do you see the like, tiny little circle? Circuit, a circle here. Then actually you can move up this one up and down. Actually, this one currently locked. So I'll just unlock it, both of them, and actually you can move up and down, or actually this one doesn't really work because my mouse is one. Another way to change it, just simply change the number, let's say 2500, it's basically 2.5 meter. If you want to add more layers, uh, more levels, what you have to do is just simply go to architecture, and then you probably see levels. So go again, go to architecture tab and go to click level. Then here you can actually you can actually add a new level following from the end of it, match the line here, and then bring it back to the another line. Then you can have another layer. So I just kind of randomly make many as many layers possible. Because post tech has many buildings in post tech are five buildings, but there are five buildings, I think four buildings, it's essentially building by building, you know, building one, building two, building three. So probably if you calculate from the bottom of it, probably overall, post tech campus may have roughly 10, 10 to 12 layers. 
because each building skipped two floors. You see that the lowest building here, second building here, third building here, and fourth building here, and finally there is a kind of student center building. So you, you need to add a lot of layers here. I wouldn't do anything precisely yet because you can change it later, and then once you're done, you can actually click escape that finish the creating layers. And then you can actually change, and then still it is working on. So I go to modify plane level, and if you press enter, I don't know. Okay, then this is done. But still, what does it mean is modify place level means that we are still working here. Modify. Okay, so I, so I kind of, once I click modify, do you probably realize that the tab was gone? So again, I'll try one more time. Architecture. Click level, you can add one additional level here from left side to right side and then change number and then once you're done, click modify to finish adding level. So this one is done. So this one explains how to add levels 